Avalucious tourism numbers taking a dip this year. The news coming after two record-setting years. News 6's Molly Reed looks into the reasons behind the fall and why people in the industry say it's not necessarily a bad thing. This year was our fifth year anniversary, so it's been a, a short but long five years. In the five years the Hard Rock Hotel on A1A in Daytona Beach has been open, the staff has been hit with a pandemic, two major hurricanes, and major events coming to town. Compared to 2021 and 2022, when those events happened, though, General Manager Andrew Spell says their numbers weren't as high in 2023. Yeah, we're not where we were doing 21 and 22. But if you look at the historicals for this market, 2019, 2018, historically Daytona Beach has been a 68, 67% occupancy market. We're pushing 70 now. Now when you're looking at the numbers, Volusia County's tax dollars were down 3.5% this year compared to last fiscal year across the entire county. Here specifically where Daytona Beach is, they were down over 5% this year compared to last year. But the tourism leaders I talked to today say those numbers are not painting the full picture. And there's one message that they want to make the most clear, that things are not down, but rather returning to normal. The numbers were normalizing in 2023. So we had a couple of stellar years following COVID. The state was open, Volusia County was open. Lori Campbell Baker with the Daytona Beach Area Visitors Bureau tells me another growth in 2023 they're seeing. The market evening out with more events coming to town and booking out hotels and not only seeing those sellout spikes during major events like Bike Week. So we have a whole system of finding those events, bringing them up. Back at the Hard Rock, Bell is already looking to 2024's goals, focusing on a trend of seeing people return to in-person work and booking work trips. There's a high expectation that a lot of that corporate group travel will be back by 2024. And that's also, you know, the norm for us is to get that group to come back to the market. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, and Molly Reed getting results, News 6.